Lab Coat 21 is already banned from tournaments. All right, well, <laughs> let's not jump the gun. Well, that's not 100% true, some professional players are kind of contemplating whether or not she should be banned, just because of the high versatility of this character and the Omega level strength of this character. Now, this video is pretty much a direct response to my good friend, One-Eyed Bandit. I got a link in the description to him. He's a really good dude. In case you're not aware, this chick can go ahead and debuff your opponent, nerfing their damage by 21%. That's pretty significant, and there's nothing you can do about that. It's not like you can swap your character out and bring them back in and the debuff is gone. No, 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 no. They're sticking with that thing for the rest of the game. And this means that whatever character gets debuffed has to now potentially three or four touch the opponent just to take them out. And if you're just a casual player who doesn't have optimal combos and wasn't too touching to begin with, then you might be four, five, or six touching the opponent depending on how not optimal your combos are. And this is especially true depending on the characters you're playing, some lower damaging characters. So for newer players, something like this debuff can really really feel debilitating. Like imagine a brand new player to Dragon Ball Fighters gets hit with Android 21's debuff and all they know is basic combos, like not even that, like half the time is they're dropping those two. Well then they're really gonna be struggling against this character. Not only does that command grab debuff the opponent, it buffs herself by 21%, but this doesn't happen for all of her attacks. I believe it's just her special attacks like the quarter circle forwards and so on and so forth. So when you consider this, you can kind of see the perspective of those who might want her banned. It's not completely completely unwarranted. But as of recording this video, the character is still brand new. The character is literally fresh off the presses. So if you ask me, it's a little bit too early to make a judgment on the character 100% right now. Just because of the fact that while we haven't gotten used to blocking the character, we don't really know her absolute best combos. And so far, really, the only people who have experience with the character are the top professional players because the battle hour just finished. Meaning that she's only really been explored by the top 1%. And for any new DLC, we never really see their full potential until it gets gets into the mass populace's hands. So I want you guys to think back, back to when Base Vegeta came out. When he first came out, no one thought he was the best character in Dragon Ball Fighters. Like sure, people liked him, people thought he was good, but no one thought he was the absolute powerhouse that he ended up being. It took a little bit of time in order to explore the character's features in order to realize the actual true potential of the character. You also had other characters that when they were initially played by the top 1%, the top 1% were like, yo, this character is busted. And then it gets into the mass populace's hands and everyone's like, oh, this character character is, you know, B tier at best. So my point here is Dragon Ball Fighters for the top 1%, for the actual professional players, is a totally different game than what we experience as casual players. As casual players, we can only dream of doing the combos some of these professional players are doing. And screw the combos, we still don't even have the mind games, we don't have the mix, we don't have the setup, we don't have the movement, we don't have half the skills these pro players have. That's why they're pro players and we're not. So the way they experience a character and the way they break down a character and the way they use the character is totally different than the way we do. And this is a double-edged sword, because while we may not be as amazing with 21 as they might be, we also aren't going to be as strong to fight against Android 21 as they would be. So if we run into a player who's just slightly better than us, and they're using 21, this character who's incredibly strong, well suddenly, we're going to really struggle to exploit their weaknesses. So personally, I think it's a little bit too early to start calling for bans on a character that isn't even officially out. I think we need time to explore their weaknesses. That isn't to say that the character isn't strong, that's not to say that she may not be busted, I just think that if she is busted, then we'll truly find out why a little bit later. I also recall a very similar thing happening with Goku Black in the early days of Dragon Ball Fighters, where everyone was like, dude, this character is amazing, this character is OP, this character is busted, and really, Goku Black at no point was ever a great character. What made him so good back then was the fact that we all were still new to the game, and auto combos were running rampant, I mean, they still do, but people were getting nailed by his long-ranged auto combos, but Goku Black was never really officially strong because what you got to remember is while yes this game is still old this game is like four or five years old at this point a lot of the players are still pretty new this game is massive and there is a huge amount of beginner to average players most players aren't even close to a professional level but dudes i'm just some guy man those are just my opinions my thoughts none of this could be right all of it could be right i i, I don't know i'm not <laughs> i'm not a professional player i'm definitely one of those casuals so in the comments down below let me know your thoughts about the character and do you think she should be banned from tournaments and if you're new here, subscribe. We're going to be coming out with a lot of 21 content. Combos, the whole nine yards. I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow.